Turning now to the latest on the Mauna Loa eruption, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory within the U.S. Geological Survey continues to deliver updates on the current status of Mauna Loa. KIT Forest Chloe Markley joins us in the studio now with the latest information. Chloe, what can you tell us? Yeah, well, Leah, right now, the northeast rift zone eruption of Mauna Loa continues with several lava flows active, but USGS leaders say the community is not at risk. The USGS gave the latest updates on Tuesday night. It says the longest and largest lava flow is coming from Fisher 3. This lava flow crossed the Mauna Loa Weather Observatory Road on Tuesday at around 8 p.m. The flow was located about 4.5 miles from Saddle Road. The head scientist for the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, Ken Hahn, says it could go one of two ways. He says it's too early on to predict what happens, but says if the lava doesn't spread widely, it could reach the highway pretty fast. Or it could spread out, which would cause it to spread over a big area and slow it down, stopping it from reaching any roads. The State Department of Transportation has plans in place in case of any roads get cut off. USGS doesn't expect any eruptive activity outside the Northeast Rift Zone. But we're still a few days away from any lava potentially reaching it. And depending on the mode the lava goes into when it hits the flat ground, it could be longer than that. But there's not a lot of uh, use in the public worrying about scenarios at this point. As of right now, no evacuations have been issued, but this could change in the next week as lava could flow downhill and begin to reach some neighborhoods. USGS will be sending out more updates later this morning. For now, reporting live, Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.